The U.S. has been trying to rally countries in support of Ukraine at the ongoing United Nations General Assembly while calling out Russia. More in our next report. World leaders are gathering in New York this week for this year's United Nations General Assembly. On Tuesday, U.S. President Joe Biden and Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky used the event to continue their push for international support in the Ukraine war. But domestic politics in Washington will also likely be in their minds. Russia alone, Russia alone bears responsibility for this war. Russia alone has the power to end this war immediately. War crimes must be punished. Deported people must come back home and the occupier must return to their own land. We must be united to make it and we will do it. Slava Ukraini. This Ukraine military video is said to show its forces retaking a village last week. Biden has made rallying allies for Ukraine a centerpiece of his foreign policy. And according to Reuters Ipsos polls, strong majorities of Americans support giving weapons to Ukraine. But he's also faced criticism from some Republicans who want the U.S. to spend less money on it. That includes House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Zelensky is expected to travel to Washington later this week and meet some congressional leaders, including McCarthy. Former President Trump, now campaigning for the 2024 election, has vowed a quick end to the war if he wins. Trump's skeptical of the United States' traditional allies, such as NATO, and he's been complimentary of Russian President Putin in the past. Meanwhile, back at the UN, President Biden is actually meeting with the presidents of several Asian countries, including Russian allies. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, and the Kyrgyz Republic are military allies of Russia and the Collective Security Treaty Organization.